Hi, in the last video, we discussed about account determination and how it works automatically in the ERP system. In this video, we will discuss how to configure the account determination in the SAP Business by Design. Before we start, I want to have a quick review of the account determination process. Basically, the process is beginning from a master data of the transaction. Then it goes to find the account determination group and then it goes to determine the chart of account. Now assume that we have a supplier recently moved their registration status from local to Frozen. Even the payables of this supplier are posted automatically to payable accounts, but the payable for Frozen supplier need to be posted to a different general ledger account than the payable for domestic suppliers. So when we want to configure this account determination, we need to create a, or check the general ledger account in the chart of accounts. To find this activity, we can go into the implementation projects, which I create a shortcut. You also can find this work this wave in the business configuration work center. And then we find our first implementation project. Okay, and then we click open activity list and searching our account determination. In the chart of account, financial reporting structure, account determination part, and then we can click the edit chart of account to check is the uh, is this chart of account including the foreign accounts payable this general in the general ledger account. Yeah, actually, it have the account payable slash version. If they do not have this, we can add the row of account payable to this general ledger account and set the post block, which should be only automatically post allowed. Also, we can select all post allowed or only post with sub ledger account assignment allowed. And the general ledger account type will be AP. Okay, second, the second step we can, we need to create or check account determination group, which is still under this section. And uh, here we can find edit account, de account de determination group. In the account payable ledger, we can find a group of suppliers. Actually, we find yes, they have the fraudulent third party uh, uh, group ID. We also, if that if it's not satisfies our situation, we can add a new one. Uh, but the new group ID must begin with the letter Z. Okay, the third step. Then the third step, we need to assign this to the general ledger account. which we can find this in the account determination. Under the account determination, we find the account payable. And waiting the system for loading. Okay, we find those account determination group for suppliers and use those to link to the uh, we find the fraudulent third party, which should link to the account payable slash fraudulent. That is correct. And the last last step, 
we need to assign the account determination group to master data. So we're going to find our supplier's master data. Select a supplier and click edit. And we should go into edit their financial data. Currently, it is a domestic third party account determination group. So, in this situation, we need to change the status to a frozen third party. And save it. Now this supplier, this type of supplier already become a uh, frozen third party supplier. For verify this part, we can go into, uh, we can create a supply invoice to verify is this setting active or not. So we go into the supply invoice, go to the invoice entry. Using the uh, sales order we, we already created, click the new invoice. Double check the supplier is that supplier we already changed their status. Okay, and post it. Okay, then we post it. Okay, we need to switch our account to a financial responsibility. Now I log, it, log in as a financial responsibility to approve this supply invoice. And post it. For approve it, we need to make a task of approve. In the old item, I, we're going to find who can approve this invoice. Okay, the responsible going to our CEO. We switch account to CEO. We back to the. We back to this account which have this access to approve it. <coughs> We're going to the tax center, and action approve it. Yes, this supply invoice finally uh, approved. So we can go into the, for check the journal entry, we go into the general ledger work center, select the journal entry view. We find this supply invoice, we just approve it. And we saw that the, the, uh, the credit side account payable slash fraudulent is already active, so which means those settings are activated. Hopefully you, hopefully you like this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.